Nakano Nino from Gotobun Hanayome, who was once one of the less popular girls in the series, has now become arguably the most popular one. How did this spike in popularity happen? Note that there will be spoilers up to Season 2, so click off this video if you haven't seen it and don't want to get spoiled. From the beginning of Season 1, we can see some classic tsundere behavior. Classic blush, classic hmm, classic get caught naked scene, classic domestic abuse, classic drugging, wait what? She possesses qualities you'd see from any random harem anime, so it's not hard to see why some people would just roll their eyes and move on. She was also the one that rejected Futaro the most, so you could even argue that she took up somewhat of an antagonist role in Season 1. So while some that liked getting drugged or smacked in the face had her as best girl, there was no particular super standout reason. This attitude continues on into the first few episodes of Season 2 until this starts to change. After seeing through a disguise comparable to Team Rocket, Nino indulges in the drug tag one last time before abandoning the tag once and for all. The changes start when she starts to realize, Wait, I actually like this guy that I've been semi-abusing! And starts changing her attitude. What is appreciated here is that the stage of denial to acceptance occurs in the span of a few episodes, where in almost any other harem, it would most certainly take at least a season. This is a quality that many appreciate. A decisive nature that actually progresses the story. <coughs> Nisekoi. <coughs> it took her almost no time to admit that she likes Futalo, and then almost immediately goes to confess. When the classic annoying I did not hear you cliche happens, she literally goes up and says, I said I love you, did I stutter? I mean, she literally confessed twice! In one episode! Forget T posing to extra dominance, this is the true queen of dominance! As the fellow M's that we are, we can do nothing but bow down to our new queen that asserted dominance and single handedly destroyed an annoying anime trope that nobody likes. Episode 7, after the second confession scene, was probably one of the only times I had a Pogchamp face for half the episode. Oh, thank god I live alone. After destroying the laws of Newton's anime physics, she continues to step on the book and burn it as she continues to break all anime laws known to mankind. Well, except for Einstein's 69th dumbass MC law, and continues to assert dominance and proclaim her love. This aspect of her is so refreshing, it's like we all just inhaled a gallon of mint. Her constant ways of teasing and expressing her love makes you can't help but want to support her for all that she's doing. I mean, just look at that kiss! Ah! It's a rare occasion of showing a girl chase a guy aggressively for a romantic relationship but in a non-comedical way, and man is it appreciated. A scene that I personally appreciate the most is the way that she admitted why she was the way that she was in Season 1. That she did not reject Futaro as a person, but his role. She, who loved her sisters more than anyone else, didn't want this family to be broken by an outsider. It's understandable, and the way she thinks and her developments are done are just brilliant. Seeing a Tsunade grow from hating a man to loving him, admitting it, confessing, then chase him aggressively, is just amazing. Oh, and don't even get me started on the game that just came out. She's literally a Futaro simp, it's amazing. While Nino is super aggressive with expressing her love, you can clearly see that she treasures her family as much as her own love. Many of us in the Nino gang appreciated how she did not resort to war crimes and stuck to an honorable battle. Instead of wanting to nuke the competition, she wanted a fair battle with the girls. It's this attitude of both righteousness and aggressiveness of a Tsundere that makes her so lovable. Never more have I wanted someone to both step on me while glaring at me in disgust but also hug me with the cutest blush face ever. We haven't even gotten into her wife qualities, such as amazing cooking. She's the definition of a top-tier waifu with top-tier character development. And of course, as men of culture, we will never forget code number 298. With a confident outside and caring inside, it's no wonder that the Tsundere has risen so quickly in popularity. To many of us, Nino is simply a Tsundere done right. She's a character that represents this oversaturated character trope, but admits to all her mistakes and breaks all the cliches we hate in so many rom-coms. What that ends up giving is a down-to-earth honest character that not only propels the story, but also possesses amazing waifu qualities. Wait a second. Tsundere means a girl who is not honest to her own feelings. But 
Nino becomes 100% honest to her own feelings. Wouldn't that make her not a tsundere? So the ultimate character development of a tsundere is to not be a tsundere? Can I name this the transition law of tsundere? To be a good tsundere, you have to not be a tsundere. Wait, then that would change the definition of a tsundere! WHAT IS A TSUNDERE?! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I plan to continue the series for a while, so if you enjoyed that video, then don't forget to subscribe. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Don't mind me, I'm going to post my tsundere law discovery as a scientific journal.